What is up guys? Justin here with ETT. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about something a little different than we normally talk about because we normally talk about guns, AR-15s. Um, so this is very related. We're going to talk about some body armor. We're going to talk about some plate carriers. This is important because if we're really talking about our Second Amendment rights, um, you know, normally Second Amendment is is right to bear arms, it's firearms, it's guns, because that's what the Constitution says. Um, but I think that if we're really going to dig in and talk about our Second Amendment rights, and we're really going to talk about our rights to protect and defend ourselves and our homes and our families and our freedoms, um, body armor becomes an important part of that. The ability to really protect yourself from similar threats out there that you may be confronted by. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to talk about it a little bit for that reason. Um, some of you guys may have some body armor. Some of you guys may have some chest rig plate carrier setups already that are, that are set up to the gills and good to go. Some of you guys may be completely new to this. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to kind of take a baseline look at this and just really co cover some of the, the really simple stuff that, that there is to start to look at. Uh, so body armor is also kind of going along with that previous point. This stuff is on the list of things that are kind of being threatened right now. Uh, we know that obviously due to some of the, the recent current events and some shootings that have happened, um, our, our Second Amendment rights are really under attack. Some of that stuff is really uh, being threatened. And, and body armor is on that list of stuff that uh, certain states and uh, parts of the country are really looking at regulating more heavily. And, and, and that's, that's under attack. So. Um, I'm not here to get too political about this in this video, but I definitely am here to uh, encourage all you guys to um, get in that fight, you know, locally, wherever you are, um, start to establish the, that familiarity with, with local leaders and authorities and representatives and um, start to know what's going on in your area locally. If, if you're not super familiar with that already, um, start to find organizations that are fighting that fight because sometimes it's hard to really know, like, what to do first and how to get involved. So start to find some, some organizations that you feel good about and you can really get behind and, and get involved and, and support organizations like that. Because uh, uh, obviously we feel this way because it's what we do as a company, but this stuff is really important to us as, as humans and, and as Americans. So moving away from that, we're gonna get into the meat. We're gonna talk about some of these products. Having a plate carrier or having a chest rig is essentially a way for you to set up a rig to have ready for any variety of situations that you think you might encounter or threats that you might want to be ready for, taking into account um, where you live and what kinds of gear you already own and how much of that you want to have ready, readily available and accessible to you uh, in the event of needing to use gear like this. I have a few options here on the table that we're gonna take a look at and that is, uh, that's gonna provide multiple options for carrying and mounting different gear that's going to go with your firearm and with your um, with any other like emergency preparedness that you might want to have in certain situations i have here on the table a few different plate carrier setups from guard dog body armor one because that's a brand that we carry uh, it's one of the nicer setups that we carry uh, this is going to be like a lot of things that we talk about guys there's a lot of great options out there. Um, you, when you really start to dig into it and learn about it and, and see, what, see what's out there, there's a lot of good options for plate carrier setups and body armor. Um, and so this, kind of like with AR-15s, you know, we talk about um, get your AR-15, get your rifle, and then start to set it up and customize it exactly to you and your needs and your preferences. This is gonna be really similar to that where you're gonna wanna find a good starting point and then as you go, as you wear it, as you train with it, as you learn more, as times change, um, you're gonna wanna change certain things. You're gonna wanna add certain aspects. You might wanna take something off. Uh, you might want, you might find like this kind of pouch works a lot better for me than this kind of pouch, right? So there's a lot of great companies out there making good gear for stuff like this. And it's really gonna come down to doing your research, like knowing what you want, knowing what you like, and then getting your rig set up really well specifically for you and your purposes. So as far as plates go, I do have a set of plates here from Guard Dog Body Armor. These are 
uh, level 3A plates. They're super lightweight. We could probably do 10 videos on, on different kinds of plates alone. There's a lot of options out there. There's different, le different strengths, different um, rating levels of plates. Uh, some plates are really heavy. Some are designed to be more lightweight. Uh, they come in different sizes. So that's just one of those things that you need to kind of assess like what you think are the most likely potential threats that you might come in contact with or what you're most worried about. Uh, decide what kind of plate carrier you're gonna be running and make sure you have plates um, that you feel comfortable and safe with and that are gonna fit in the carrier that, that you're gonna run. So that's all I'm really gonna say about the plates, guys, is, is again, do that research. There's lots of good options out there and find something that you know is gonna work for you and you know you're gonna feel confident and safe uh, having on your person in any sort of an emergency or threat situation. Um, so now get it into the plate carriers. Uh, like I said, we have I have three plate carriers here from Guard Dog Body Armor. And what we have is essentially uh, kind of the progression of like a full, like a totally full uh, setup, pretty extensive. There's a lot of stuff on here, all the way down to a much more minimalist setup. Um, it's a lot more lightweight. It's a lot more uh, streamlined, but you're not going to have as many options to carry stuff and, and have certain gear uh, with the minimalist style setup. So we're going to start from the top and work our way down. What I do like about Guard Dog is that you can get a full, like complete setup with a bunch of stuff already on here at a really good price point. Um, I think this plate carrier comes in at just over $100, which looking at like a plate carrier setup, if you've ever shopped around for that, if you, if you have put together like a full plate carrier setup, then you know like this stuff can get expensive. Um, and a lot of times it's gonna come as like just, just a plate carrier with nothing really attached to it or mounted on it. And you're gonna have to go find all the things that you want, all the different components that you want to put on the front, put on the back, put on the sides, whatever you're gonna do. So the fact that these guys provide such a complete setup um, from like the ground level at a good price, makes it, I think, a really good starting point uh, where you can really start to play with everything and deciding what you want and what you like, uh, what you're gonna keep on here and what, you know, as time goes by, maybe you're gonna switch out, maybe you're gonna find a different option. So this is like the most extensive and complete setup that we carry um, as it comes out of the box. What we're gonna find on most plate carriers is some kind of mounting points on the front and on the back. and. This stuff uses generally uh, two like main mounting systems. You have your Molly mounting system, which is just these loops that kind of go across the whole thing. And then uh, all of the, the pouches that you'll mount on there, you weave through those loops and attach it at the top and the bottom so it stays secure uh, where it is. And then a lot of these systems also have uh, mounting points that are Velcro, just hook and loop. That's what you usually see on stuff like that. And that's good to be aware of uh, as you get a plate carrier, as you start to set it up and get accessories for it, you'll want to know exactly how you're going to be mounting that in specific spots uh, on your rig. So just looking at the front of this one, we have uh, mag pouches here down at the bottom. And this is going to be for like rifle magazines. Um, one thing that's interesting about this one that is personally like not my favorite thing is that this, instead of being like, three separate mag pouches. This is actually just one big pouch. And then it has the, the straps for fastening across the top of three different magazines. We asked them why they did that. And they told us that that was uh, like at customers requests um, to have like a full pouch instead of three separate mag magazine pouches. Just speculating, I, I think that possibly the reason for that could be if guys are running different uh, different rifle platforms where you're using different kinds of magazines. Um, you're not gonna have to get specific mag pouches for that. Um, whether you're running uh, whether you're running an AR-15, whether you're running like an AK platform, you're gonna be able to fit probably three magazines in here and you're not gonna have to worry about um, getting like specific mag pouches for those magazines. And that's just kind of speculation, but um, I do think it makes sense to do it that way. Uh, but a lot of these, like these other ones we're gonna look at, you're gonna see there's separate mag pouches and, and I find that to definitely be like a much more secure way of, uh, 
of keeping and accessing your magazines. So that's the first thing we have there is rifle mag pouch there on the bottom, definitely space for three rifle magazines. And then here on the top part of the chest, we do have three pistol magazine pouches as well. So if you're gonna be carrying primary firearm, secondary firearm, you're gonna have multiple magazines uh, easily accessible for each. And then here on the back, we do have two um, mounting locations for kind of just extra storage space. So we have a small pouch here on top that just zips open and then a little bit larger pouch here on bottom that also zips open. This one has some zipper pouches inside and then some like separated out elastic pouch sections inside for organizing and storage of different gear, different things. This also has this drawstring that if you wanted to open this up and kind of keep it open at like a platform, you can tighten that and it'll kind of set it up that way uh, for you to have some like actual working space as you have that open and are digging through it. And then on the sides, we do have a few pouches mounted on the sides. This definitely like another like magazine size pouch for one individual magazine. And then these little extra molly space here. And these side panels also offer a spot for a side ballistic panel. So essentially a smaller, uh, a smaller ballistic plate that's gonna offer you some added protection there on the sides, which not all plate carriers are gonna offer that option. So if you're looking for that, that's a great feature. And then one thing that I do like a lot specifically about this carrier is we have these, uh, these like quick detach metal clips. So a lot of these come with plastic clips. Uh, these metal clips, I think they just recently added these to this gen. These metal clips are like, they actuate super quick, super easy, and that just pops that right out. So if you needed to get this off really quickly or get it on really quickly, that is really nice to have that super simple, super fast deploy uh, attachment clip and it's metal, not plastic. So stronger and durability. So that's like a quick basic overview. This one also does have these quick detach uh, like plastic clips here on the sides. Um, you can pull those and it opens it up really fast, which if you know about plate carriers, a lot of them, you gotta pull this up and they're Velcroed in with two big Velcro panels. So this typically tends to be a little bit of a faster option uh, if you need to get that opened up or get that off really quickly. So we'll move one step down, also from Guard Dog Body Armor. So here on the front, we have three separate rifle mag pouches. And then on the front of those, we have three separate pistol magazine pouches. And then here underneath, this comes with this little pouch, but here underneath, uh, you can see we do have uh, a section of Molly that also has the Velcro, the hook and loop on the front of it. So if you wanted to Molly attach something different there, or Velcro attach something different there. You have both options with this with this carrier. And then it comes with this little pouch on that has Velcro on the front. So you could easily add another placard or another pouch there if you wanted some more space. And then this gives you a little bit of space to quick access uh, anything that is gonna fit in there. On the sides, um, this does not come with the same side pouches. So you don't have that same option, but it does have this uh, nice kind of stretchy siding. And so that's gonna be nice for fit and comfort. And then on the back, we do have uh, a similar pouch here on the bottom, already installed, ready to go. And then we have this kind of laser cut Molly section here that also will accept uh, Velcro. So if you have a pouch, <clears throat> if you have a Velcro backed pouch, you'll be able to stick that on there or use these cuts for Molly mounting. So a little bit less there, and obviously it's a little bit smaller. So this is, this is gonna end up being like a little bit more of a lightweight option as far as like mobility goes. It's gonna be probably preferred for that function, but you're not gonna be able to carry quite as much gear. So that's where you start to weigh your options as far as like um, what you wanna be set up for, given the things that you wanna be prepared for, what are you gonna favor uh, having that lightweight speed or having that little bit heavier more gear, more options. And then we will move down to the Terrier plate carrier from Guard Dog. And this is, this is like our most minimalist option that we have from these guys. So obviously significantly smaller, 
there's there's room for the plates to go in here and then they didn't really add on much space any direction other than that so we do have room for our three rifle mag pouches they're already on there they're ready to go and then you do have a little bit of mounting space here um, with the velcro and the molly so if you wanted to add on uh, an extra pouch there on the front you have the space to do that and then we look here on the back um, there's no pouches that come with this ready to go or like pre-mounted but we do have uh, options top and bottom to add anything that you want to have and then we do also have some molly strips down the shoulder straps if you you have something that you want to store there as well so so this is going to be like our quickest most lightweight option if that's what you want to have set up, if that's what you want to have like quick to grab, ready to go, that's what it's going to be. There's definitely room to play around with, you know, as you familiarize yourself with, with these setups and with these systems and with all the options that are out there available, uh, you start to find ways that you can kind of maximize the amount of space on here, um, use it all to get everything that you want in your setup. Uh, but like I said earlier, so much of this guys comes down to personal preference, what you want out of your setup and what you feel like you need out of your setup. So as you start to kind of make that decision and start to really look at it, you know, you kind of have your list of things that you think you want to have with you in the event that you would need to use your plate carrier. So for sure, you're going to, you're going to want to have like magazines, extra ammunition. Definitely. You're probably going to want to have some, some sort of like medical and first aid stuff, whether that's like a full on trauma kit first aid kit, um, some like more extensive stuff or some just really basic, simple stuff. You're definitely going to want to have some medical, maybe some, uh, like some trauma shears, definitely have a tourniquet. If you're, uh, if you're wearing body armor, we're definitely in a situation where firearms are somehow involved, definitely going to want to have a, a tourniquet with you. Um, so those are things that you want to make sure that you have the space for. If you're running like electronic optics, you have red dot or, uh, like a scope LPVO with electronic reticle. Uh, you can always make space for some extra batteries um, so that if you have a weapon light, flashlight, or red dot, whatever, you have some extra batteries readily available if something goes out on you. You could have a, an extra flashlight or like a headlamp in one of these. Um, simple tools or multi-tools that you feel like you might wanna have readily, readily available, whether you're working on your firearm or um, anything else you might encounter. You might wanna have space for something like that in here. Um, an extra knife. Uh, I know a lot of guys like to have like a radio set up in the, in the case that they need comms. You can definitely set these up to have space for like a radio and a push to talk uh, point somewhere on your rig. Maps and a compass might be something that you wanna have in one of these front pouches. Um, water, I know a lot of guys will put like a hydration bladder on the back with that hose coming up so you always have water um, easily accessible. There's a ton of different stuff that you can put in, especially one of these larger setups. So it really comes down to, like I said, make your list, decide what you want to have in your kit, and then you can start deciding, okay, do I need small, medium, large? Um, how many pouches do I want on the back, on the front, on the sides? Uh, how easily accessible do I want certain things to be? Do I want something that has like super... Uh, organizable capability? Do I just want open pouches that I'm going to be able to stuff a whole bunch of stuff into? There's tons of options, a lot of ways to do it. So I can't stand here and tell you guys like, here's the right way, here's the wrong way. Do your research, know what you want, and then start to set it up uh, as you need it. So again, just like kind of a plug for the guard dog stuff. There's, there's tons of good options, lots of good brands out there that are making awesome rigs, awesome plate carriers. Um, but I do think that this guard dog stuff is nice that it comes at a really good price with a lot of it already set up. So it's coming with some of your front and back pouches. It's coming with your mag pouches. And that, uh, that gives you that first touch point, that first experience of like, okay, here's how this feels. Can I find something, uh, that feels better? Can I find something that's easier for me to use? Can I find something that fits a little bit more closely to my specific wants and needs. So at a really low price point, you can get a full setup and then start to work from there and customize to your preferences and to your needs, um, given, 
you know, what you're really worried about, what's going on in the world, where you live, taking all factors into account. So uh, we do have these options on our website, as well as like a few other budget options when it comes to plates and plate carriers. So if you're like super new to this and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, because we all know you can go get a really nice plate carrier and a bunch of really nice gear on it and end up spending a ton of money. So if you're really just, just getting into this, there are some budget options um, that you can check out. Uh, and Guard Dog is, as I said, one of those options that great price point, full setup, and you can really start getting into it. I think that is gonna be it for today, guys. Um, for sure, a lot of you guys out there are more experts than I am on this topic. There's probably guys out there who have super solid setups and have tried a whole bunch of gear. So if you guys have um, comments or concerns or anything to add, to this conversation, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. If you have questions about any of this stuff or you, you're trying to figure out something on your own setup, you have questions, um, let's definitely create that community and that conversation down in the comments where um, you can ask that and hopefully people out there will be will have experience with certain things and be willing to help. So questions, comments, concerns, whatever, put that down in the comments below um, and let's, uh, let's all start talking about this stuff and, and helping each other figure out what's going to be the best setups and the best gear um, for all of us as individuals. Once again, that's plate carriers. Guys, do what you can to get involved locally. Um, really get in familiar with local authorities and local representatives and try to protect these rights that are really important to us being able to defend and protect our homes and our families and our freedoms. Um, that is it for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.